You can now choose to allow patients to upload a file to an online message. To do this, the practice has to give the patient permission through the reply function. Here we have a patient registration form and after checking we have all the information on the form, we can respond to the patient and ask them to provide ID. We can type a message to explain to the patient that they need to visit the practice with their ID or they can respond to the message and upload images of their ID or documentation. To allow the patient to do this you need to select allow patient to reply and then you'll see another option drop down to allow the patient to send photos. You can then select send and close or send. Let's have a look at what the patient receives on their end. So the patient receives the usual practice response email and after confirming the date of birth they can see the practice response. When they choose to reply they have the option to attach and upload an image. Patients are able to upload up to five images and if the patient is using a device with the camera they're able to take a photo at this point or they can go to their library and upload the required images. Once they finish uploading the images they can select send and then if we go back to the dashboard we can see the patient's reply has come through and when we open it up you can see the documents attached. To enlarge the image you can click on it and in the top right you'll see a download icon and this will download the image to your PC or laptop or whatever device it is that you're using. The image is copied over when using the exporting options. You can see the image is embedded here in the PDF. And when using the clinical system button, the image is copied over with the episode of care.